Are you recording? Yes. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a new vlog. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't expect this one, eh? <laughs> Today's video, I know you're gonna like this topic because it's about confidence and how to become confident. Yes. So, I hope you are excited about this. Ooh, mama. <laughs> because I am. But before we move on, Titans, 10% discount code. If you put a code Sergio10 in the description when you buy the tights, they have the colors, they are you the best tights. Like and so, yeah. You help me, you help the channel, and you will look amazing. So, let's start the vlog. We finished the class and we don't have rehearsal in the morning, so we are going to one of the best bakeries in the city and we will bring you along. to see what the croissants are like. Really one of the best places in Olomouc. This is actually new. They opened not so long ago. And it's really, really good. So let's talk about confidence, because I think it's a big struggle for every ballet dancer and every person in the world to feel confident about what they are doing or who they are. And so I think we should raise the conversation about it. There is this really good phrase that I love, and it's that at the edge or at the limit of every situation that seems impossible, there is the secret for what you're looking for. And I think that's the biggest key or the big key to, to feel confident in who you are and what you do, is to put yourself in situations where you feel uncomfortable, to put yourself in situations where just the best out of you will make you go through that situation itself. So as a ballet dancer, this, we, we can experience it every day. Of course, when we go on a stage, we are forced into that situation because it's the audience, it's us, we have only one chance and you have to be your best, you have to do the best shot you can and most of the times we fail and, and then uh, we have all the performances to try again and again but when we are in, that, in those situations, when we are in performance uh, time, we get to experience what is that to be outside of your comfort, to be at that edge. But I think if we try to put this into our everyday lives, we can become comfortable with being uncomfortable and with that, a lot of confidence can come to you. You, ne you 
you never see this many people in Olomouc together, ever. <laughs> and I think that's the biggest key, that's the biggest secret for confidence, for the people that you see around you that they seem so confident or they seem, they seem so open and so okay with who they are. It's not a question of this has come with, uh, with them since they are young, but it's a question of they are used to be in the uncomfortable situation. It can be also with filming YouTube videos or going outside and with a camera like um, maybe sometimes I do. And you need to understand that uh, when you do these things, you, get, you feel this rush and you feel like, oh, this is so out of who I am or so out of my comfort. But by being in those situations, you learn a lot about yourself and you, you get that confidence, that inner power that there's anything you can do. There is no limits, it's just what your brain can imagine. Back in the theater for some rehearsals, also a leg. Sorry about that, I cannot show you more because of what I told you the last time. The premiere will be next season, so I shouldn't be showing so much of it. But I just want to share with you, I usually wear Sodanza shoes. And lately, I've been really fan of the white shoes. I've been always, I never, I never really liked to wear white, but somehow lately I'm feeling like I want to wear some white shoes. And so I wanted to ask you, what's, what's the brand that you, you usually wear? Do you like Sodansa? Do you wear Sanchas? Do you wear other brands? Let me know in the comments what, what brand do you use and what color of the shoes is your favorite? Do you wear blacks, skin colors, whites? Let me know. It's interesting for me to know to know about these things and like this we can also share a little bit more of us. And yeah. Sorry I cannot share a lot of the recursions of Swan Lake for now. Just for now. But uh, it's been such a pleasure to work on this piece and with this choreographer and the ballet masters and we are learning a lot. We are working hard also, but uh, I'm so looking forward to be able to share with you in the future how, how it looks like. I think something amazing happens also that when you are in some situations where it's win or go home, you get also the best out of you. So it's it's almost like you are forced to be confident or like you are forced to, to experience that even if you don't want to. If I would tell you a story for myself, when I was, uh, I finished the school and I didn't get a job in any professional ballet company and it was almost one year after that and I still didn't get any job and for me it was like, I think I need to give up, I think I will never become a professional ballet dancer. But that this competition came up, it was in Barcelona and the first prize it was 6,000 euros and uh, there was some, some really important people in Valley World that uh, could see me and give me some scholarships or open some doors or some windows to, to some professional opportunities. And for me it was, it was a really rough moment because or like really difficult moment. I was not confident at all because I, I couldn't get a job and I was in a, in a bad situation. I didn't know what to do and for me going to this competition meant like I could win a lot but also meant it was a big risk. Uh, there was also one audition happening at the same time so for me the, the, the conversation was like should I go to the audition and try to get a job or should I go to this competition where I don't know if someone will see me or someone will like me but the, if I will win the competition I will get money to do many more auditions and I will also get the money and I will also get the chance to be seen by directors or important people in ballet world. And maybe for you, like it would be like, this is too stressful, this is a situation that I don't want to be in. But there was something inside of me that I felt like, I need to try this, I need to go there and I need to see, um, I need to show that I can do this. I, I know I can win, uh, even if I was not in my best moment. I Somehow, my intuition was, Sergio, you need to go there. You need, you need to push yourself, you need to do the variations and you need to win this competition because 
what if you win? And I still cannot exp explain what was the, the reason why I decided like that. But this was a big lesson for me to, to trust what's inside of me. To, to go farther than what I think is possible. Because, uh, as I was saying before, that far away, in that limit, is where the secrets to, to the success and the secrets to confidence lay. And I ended up going to the competition. I won the first prize with the money and I also got my first professional uh, contract with Ángel Corella. We went to a tour in Argentina and with that money I paid my traveling to New York, my first to London, to do some classes there and then I went to New York with the Geoffrey Ballet School. And from that I also got an opportunity to stay one more year with Geoffrey but uh, I, at the end I decided to not go, but I also got another chance to go to Romania, to the first company that I worked with. So that competition, it was the beginning of my career, in the beginning of all the chances that I got and my professional experiences. If I think about it, if I didn't go to that competition, if I didn't follow my gut, I would never become a, a professional ballet dancer, probably. We never know. But the reality is that, that Whenever you will feel that there is a situation that scares you, whenever you feel like uh, there is this moment, do or die, win or go home, those situations are the ones that will probably bring the best out of you. You will dance your best and you will be the best that is, is in your possibilities. And I'm not telling you like everything in your life should, should be this type of decisions, just saying that Confidence is won in those moments. Confidence is not something someone gives you or is something that you can decide to have. But confidence is something that happens to you where you push yourself farther than you can. And that's it. I think uh, it's interesting for, for me to share these thoughts with you. And uh, I love that they can stay here in, in the YouTube channel and in the YouTube videos. And this is something that I still think in my life. Of course, sometimes there are some moments where I don't make the, the decision that I don't want to push, I don't want to, to be uncomfortable. But at the end of the day, it's just that your heart already knows what you need and what you want. So it's all about that. It's all about one simple choice. Do you want to follow that or do you want to stay in the safe? In my experience with my life, I, I have experienced that when you take that path, when you take that difficult path, the reward most of the times is bigger. So that's it. I hope this helps you to be more confident or at least I hope this helps you to make some steps to be a confident dancer and a confident person. And don't forget that we all have been there. Everyone that you see that is, looks so confident, that looks like everything is uh, set in their lives, that it looks like they are uh, living the dream they also go through the same things that you are. It's just, you need to keep going and you need to keep being in a comfortable situation. So I just thank you all so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this vlog and be your best. I will see you in the next one.